Heritage Center for the Arts in Golden Valley is fighting to stay open. A legislative audit painted a grim picture about school enrollment, academics, and more. Now, proposed legislation could close the school. As Shannon Slatton reports, the school is making changes. There were times when we had far more applicants than we could accept. When the school now known as the Perpich Center for the Arts opened its doors more than 30 years ago, it was a trailblazer for arts education. It's certainly a very sobering report. But a scathing legislative audit released this year says the school isn't running as it should be. This is not the only report that has raised questions. The legislative auditor has audits going back and I've, I've got a, a, a stack of them. <laughs> um, and many problems have been identified repeatedly in those reports and not corrected. I think we can refocus and make this work better. Board Chair Ben Vanderkoy says they are using the audit to make important changes. This school is absolutely necessary. It fills a niche that it can't be filled in any other way. And we, we understand that there are charter schools out there, but they have a different look, a different feel and they don't have a statewide mission. Vanderkoy says increasing enrollment is linked directly to statewide outreach. There's no question we have to have more students here, especially students from greater Minnesota. If you look at a timeline, you'll notice enrollment numbers started dipping about four years ago. That's when outreach efforts were pulled in and resources were refocused to the Crosswinds Arts and Sciences School in Woodbury. We have asked the legislature to transfer that to another school district. We have a great proposal. If that happens and that school is in a safe place, we can then take those resources and focus just on this campus and the outreach to the rest of the state. The school maintains they have solid academics too that aren't often reflected in standardized tests. Although the school does the testing, a number of students have opted out. So we have a very small pool of students that account for those scores. The mood inside the school is hopeful. As you can see from this plea, a student wrote on a whiteboard. The Perpich community maintains they are reaching out, doing what they can to keep their school open. This is a critical time. In the next 60 days, we'll determine whether or not Perpich survives. And if we get enough support from the community, especially from students and faculty and arts educators, uh, we can make this happen. In Golden Valley, Shannon Slatton, CCX News. Yeah. The school is also in the process of hiring a new executive director, and they have so far more than 30 applicants.